Good morning. It is a beautiful Sunday morning um, of January 29th of 2017. And uh, I just want to say good morning, my fellow brethren, or anyone who is watching on YouTube land. Um, uh, the Lord Jesus prompted my spirit to speak on something this morning. Uh, he, call, he calls it in my spirit the wall of pride. <clears throat> if you're, you're a fellow Christian like I am and um, you're having a lot of trouble with certain people on YouTube or whatever, the Lord uh, just wanted me to speak uh, his word, uh, some Bible verses on the subject of pride. He spoke to me uh, the words wall of pride. The bottom line is some people simply cannot be reached because they have such a thick wall of pride. All the false prophets on YouTube. They won't take correction because they have a wall of pride. Pride is such a devastating sin. Pride blocks the grace of Almighty God. Pride blocks correction. When you are at a point where you can't receive any correction and you think, in your puffed up prideful mind that you can do no wrong, you can say no wrong, that you are error free and mistake free, you're in dangerous territory with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Grace is undeserved and unmerited favor. I don't know anybody on this planet that does not need the grace and favor of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to read a few verses from uh, the King James Bible about pride. The Lord wanted me to speak on this morning. Um, pride, I find personally, is... Um, I know that, uh, let me let me just preface this all to say, we all have a sin nature. We need to admit we all can have an element of pride. But if you're a child of the Most High God, Jesus is going to humble you. You may uh, lose money. You may lose possessions. Sometimes you may lose your health for a season. Um, Jesus will take. Jesus will use or bring into your life circumstances to humble you. Jesus will not put up with pride in his kingdom. And uh, he will definitely chasten you. It is an abomination to the Lord Jesus Christ. Even a prideful look, look in Proverbs 6 is an abomination. So um, let me read the Lord Jesus Christ's words about pride and his holy word. Because it doesn't really matter what Sister Cheryl says. This is from the King James Version. I know that we've all heard them before, but uh, it's it's a serious subject. And uh, this is the reason why the false prophets uh, on YouTube can't be reached because they're wall of pride. Pride is the reason many people land in hell every single day on this from this planet. Proverbs 11, 2 says, When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. Proverbs 16, 5 says, Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. Jesus Christ just promises in Proverbs 16, 5, that all the prideful people will not go unpunished. So, as a child of the Most High God, we must judge ourselves every day and see pride 
judge ourselves, do we have pride? Do you talk about yourself all day long and what you've accomplished? Or do you give all the glory and the credit to Jesus? I know that I can't even take my next breath without the Lord Jesus Christ giving me the strength to take this next breath to talk to you guys today. I know the Lord Jesus has taught me through reading the, His holy words. All the, the kings and the people in the Bible who took the glory upon themselves end up dying. King Nebuchadnezzar is a great example. He heaped all the glory upon himself for his accomplishments and did not give glory to God. The Lord Jesus Christ humbled him for seven years and he crawled on the ground like an animal. His nails grew out like an animal. And after his seven years of being extremely humbled, living like an animal, the Lord delivered him. He was humbled for sure by the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus will do anything. He will judge all prideful men and women severely should they not humble themselves before the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to read a few more verses on pride. The Lord would have me read. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Just as I just said about King Nebuchadnezzar, he was brought down so low, he lived like an animal for seven years. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Now that really, really speaks to right now, 2017. The seven-year tribulation, or, or a.k.a. Daniel's seventh week, or Jacob's trouble, is on the horizon. Now, my opinion is, we probably don't have more than four more years, according to Israel becoming a nation in 1948. If you add 80 years per Psalms 90-10 generation, comes to 2028 minus 7 is 2021. I'm not day setting. I'm just saying, in my opinion, from my studies on Bible prophecy, we have, I, in my opinion, no more than probably three or four years left on the planet. But the Lord Jesus Christ can come at any time, is imminent. We were told to watch and look for him any time. At any time, the fullness of the Gentiles should come in. This verse speaks very strongly to the last days that we're in right now. Pride goeth before destruction and the haughty spirit for a while fall. The false prophets on YouTube and all over the, the world are false because of their pride. They want to be admired, puffed up, esteemed, higher than the Lord Jesus Christ. They have agendas. They're full of pride and therefore they cannot be corrected. It's for their own good that we correct people and rebuke people. It's for their own good that they humble themselves. Admit. I admit I've made many mistakes. I've made many errors in my Christian life. I try to judge myself, repent, and turn back to the truth. Recognize my errors. Recognize my mistakes. And ask Jesus Christ to correct me. Um, and I really, really appreciate that. I'm going to read another um, verse that's very appropriate for these days. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Proverbs 27, 2 says, Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine lips. When you have people that give themselves titles, they declare themselves to be humble. They declare themselves to be prophets. They pre declare themselves to be somebody above the other guy. They are praising themselves. They're taking away the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't believe in titles unless someone is a bona fide, proven pastor. I don't believe in titles. Prophet, I'm prophet so-and-so. I'm prophetess so-and-so. I'm apostle so-and-so. 
Well, according to the Bible, apostles are those who have seen the Lord Jesus Christ face to face. No one now sees Jesus in his glory. He may appear in a dream or vision, but we are not in his presence, full presence. We would die. We are in our flesh. James 4, 6 says, He, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resists the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Do you need more grace? Do you need help from the Lord Jesus Christ? Remain humble for the Lord. Jeremiah 9, 23 says, Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Philippians 2, 3 says, Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Romans twelve sixteen. lastly, be of the same mind toward one another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Um, I believe that pride is one of the, is sending people to hell every single day. All the cult members, you can't reach them because of their pride. Because they think they know it all. Um, the false prophets. Uh, the rich men in their pride. The rich men around the world or rich women. Who don't give credit and glory. Everyone that doesn't give credit and glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. They're in deep trouble. Every gift. Everything positive you have in your life comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. Every perfect gift is from above, from the Father of lights. Recognize that you are nothing without Almighty God. You do not breathe and your heart does not keep beating without the Lord Jesus Christ stopping it. And the Lord Jesus Christ can stop anyone's heartbeat at any time. Anyway, I'm going to um, put this to a close now. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ put it in my spirit to speak on the wall of pride. Some people cannot be reached at this time. I have recognized that. Some people, the wall of pride has to be broken down by the line of the tribe of Judah. Super prideful people have not really repented. Jesus, if Jesus resists a person full of pride, they can't be saved because it's all by grace. They must humble themselves and admit that we're, you're a big mess and you need to be saved. Jesus Christ will break down every man, every woman's wall of pride eventually. And every man and woman and every person will bow down to the Lord Jesus Christ. I choose to do it now. I don't want to be left behind. I know that I'm saved by grace, but I give all glory, honor, praise, and thanksgiving all glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ for all things in my life. And I am eternally grateful. I love you all, and I thank you. I praise the Lord Jesus Christ, and look up, your redemption draws nigh. Bye-bye.